Welcome to Campus Connect on Morris Educational Television. I'm Ed Yaw, President of County College of Morris. I'm pleased to host today's program sponsored by the Morris Area Consortium for Local Educational Television, a cooperative effort by Morris County Schools, Colleges, and Public Libraries to bring you information on key issues in higher education. On today's program, I'll be speaking with President of William Patterson University, Dr. Kathleen Waldron. Dr. Waldron became the seventh president of William Patterson University on August 2, 2010. Dr. Waldron had served as president of Baruch College of the City University of New York from 2004 to 2009 and led the college to achieve national rankings in its business and public affairs program and a place in the Princeton Review's list of the top 15% of colleges in the country. She is also a former senior executive at Citibank. Welcome, President Waldron. Delighted to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Before we get started in talking about the university and our relationship with William Patterson, if you'd be so kind as maybe to share some of your background with our audience, uh, your career, and, and leading up to your presidency at sure. uh, William Patterson. Sure. I'd be happy to. And um, you know I have a rather untraditional path to a university president, um, and many people comment on that because I started my career as an academic and have a doctorate in Latin American history from Indiana University and then taught for a number of years before started deciding to leave academe completely and go into business. And um, that's what I did. So after a number of years of teaching at Bowdoin College, I then took a job in international banking in New York City, first at Chemical Bank and then at Citibank, mm -hmm. and really spent 15 years of my life as a banker. Um, and then after that career, and it was wonderful, and I traveled all around the world and kept my interest in Latin America and mm. did a lot of work in Latin America and, and lived in Venezuela for a while, right. I then decided to return to the academy. And I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do that. Um, so I started talking to people in university life because at that time the bank, Citibank, wanted to set up a university in the bank. And I started talking to mm. university presidents and deans, and they suggested that perhaps I was on the wrong side of that equation, um, that it would be better if I took my managerial and financial skills as well as academic background and moved into higher education administration. So I was pretty fortunate. I ended up um, starting as dean of the School of Business at Long Island University for a number of years, and then was tapped to be president of Baruch College, and then just last August became president of William Patterson University. So I've now been in higher education for um, almost as many years as I was a banker, and the two blend fairly well. So I'm delighted to be in New Jersey and to be president of yeah. William Patterson. They really do, and it's such a it's such a neat uh, combination of experiences that you've had. I mean, as you say, not only in academe but also in the business uh, community and and international, which is becoming so important mm -hmm. in everything that we do. Uh, going through uh, this uh, together as well. I know I was fortunate enough to attend your investiture, I guess that's what we call yes, it. Yes, thank you. As opposed to inauguration, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a wonderful event, and you could feel the energy uh, in the room. Uh, people were so delighted to, to have you there, and uh, subsequently I've been hearing lots of good reports <laughs> from pe people that I know at William Patterson about your presidency, right. so congratulations on having the position and uh, of course we wish you the best of luck as mm. you lead that uh, wonderful university. Well thank you and you know I was quite fortunate um, I followed a wonderful president Arnie Spirit who'd been president of William Patterson for over 25 years and then I had a long transition in and it was a very cordial good transition between two presidents so Arnie was at uh, my investiture as well and I um, uh, take, take on the mantle and uh, but the reception has been quite warm, and people are enthusiastic about um, um, a change in leadership and what I might bring. And of course, everyone expects me to raise a lot of money from private donors because I had that reputation at right. Baruch, mm -hmm. and I uh, hope I'll be successful doing that too. But um, it's a different institution and an exciting institution to lead. Yes, it really is. And uh, why don't we, well, let me just say that I, I'm not surprised at the, the ease of transition. I mean, now that I've gotten to know you a little bit and having worked with Arnie for over 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, know what a wonderful man he is and wonderful leader he was at uh, William Patterson so it's it's wonderful that it's it's worked out that way but I'm yeah. not I'm really not too surprised good but anyway let's uh, talk a little bit about the university I know that it's uh, part of this 
one of the state colleges, mm -hmm. but maybe you could give us a little background on the university of and course. maybe the comprehensiveness of the programs that mm -hmm. are offered uh, by William Well, Patterson. I think most people know that William Patterson University is one of the nine state public colleges and universities in New Jersey, um, uh, beside the research institutions. And um, the uh, university traces its origins back to the 19th century when it was um, started as a normal school and then moved to a college and now a university. And so we have a full range of undergraduate and graduate programs now clustered in five different colleges, uh, business, communications, education, um, and arts, um, and, uh, the, the, the si and the sciences. And um, the university really serves about 11,000 students, mm -hmm. most of whom are full-time, most of whom are undergraduates, about 9,000 undergraduates and 2,000 graduate students. And uh, the students come from all over New Jersey and beyond, although traditionally um, it, it has a population of students from New Jersey. Um, we have about 3,000 beds in our dormitories, and so the university um, has mainly commuter students and graduate students who come at night, often um, clearly commute, and then some students live on campus. Uh, the university's grown and it's thriving. Um, we, as other institutions in the state, have expanded as more and more young people and, and people at other <coughs> phases of their lives decide to go to college and realize the necessity of a, a two-year and then four-year education. And we're really pleased to be able to offer a full range of programs. So we're best known probably for our nursing program. Mm -hmm our education programs, our science programs, our business and our music programs. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm familiar with all those programs and I think as we'll talk a little bit later we try to articulate with uh, with many of them mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, your residence halls uh, have uh, grown quite a bit over the last few years. Uh, yes. Is that, is that right? So you have many more residential students now than maybe you had 10 or 15 years well, ago? Well that's right. Um, uh, there was clearly a need and a demand, so we built dorms, and we'll probably be building more dorms. Right now, we have 3,000 spaces for students, some in traditional dormitories, some in apartments um, that, are, that are fully set up, either for undergraduate or graduate students, and they um, f form a, a ring around the campus, and many people are now choosing to commute. In fact, we're at capacity, mm -hmm. so we have to decide and make a decision whether we'll be building more housing in the future. Yeah, that's great. When we return from our break, uh, Dr. Waldron and I will discuss recent accomplishments at William Patterson University as well as future plans. Please stay with us. How am I supposed to find